YouTube and hello Leo. This is a reading for the sign of Leo. It can be your sun, moon, or rising. I'm going to do some of the tea fortune cards, tea leaf fortune cards. I always say that wrong. The energy cards and the tarot. And I think I'm going to do a past, present, and future spread. Um, so let's get started. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It helps keep me motivated to do these. And I do like doing these, but I only want to do them if they're actually helping people. So, Leo, what have we got going on? Oh, my goodness, I already see something I really like. Let's see. And you know what? I'm going to get the book. I don't usually read from the book. But with with these, but they're so small that I think I think it might be beneficial to read from the book. So we have the first one is bread, a period of prosperity and abundance. A freshly baked loaf of bread sits on the kitchen table next to a sack of flour. The sack of flour is so full that it spills its contents onto the table. The kitchen table represents your hard work, and the loaf of bread and sack of flour represent the fruit of your labors. This symbol indicates that you will enjoy a period of prosperity and plenty, which will be centered around your home. Oh, it's wonderful. Then sunrise is the next one. <laughs> I just listened to that song, um, Here Comes the Sun by, by the Beatles. So that's neat. Okay, sunrise. New creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh new start. A golden sun rises up and it seems as though it's rising from the ocean, the cradle of all creation. The sun illuminates the world, bringing fresh light into it. And this card shows you that you'll be full of creative new ideas, new ventures, and fresh starts are also indicated. So we have fresh start and we also have prosperity and abundance tied to that fresh start. Oh my goodness, and it gets even better. Leo, Leo's coming out of a funk. Leo's coming out of the dark night of the soul, I think. Mm, okay, let's see here. Bowl, right here. Plenty of material things. A beautiful pattern bowl is full uh, with every type of l luscious, <laughs> ripe fruit. And this symbol indicates that you will enjoy plenty of material things. However, you should not put too much value on material things. For like fruit, it can soon rot and then has to be thrown away. Material possessions can lose their luster and appeal. Wow, so that's gonna go right up there with that abundance card. Jeez, oh my God. Egg, <laughs> woohoo, another good one. Sometimes, you get some cards, oh my gosh, some fortune cards. It's like somebody's gossiping about you. <laughs> it's just like, God, be mean about it. It's just, egg is good. Egg is, egg is success assured with good plans and hard work. A golden egg lies in a nest on the fork of a tree branch and the egg denotes that success is assured, but only if you plan properly and work hard. Just as an egg can topple from the nest and break, so can success evade you without the proper planning and hard work. Something you're gonna invest your time in is really gonna come to fruition. It's really gonna just expand and blossom and grow and give you, it seems like everything you've been wanting. We have Arrow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Leo, you are doing good. You and Taurus are both signs that are doing super good right now in these hard times. I must say, these are hard times and you, you two are doing great. Okay, Arrow, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. 
An arrow flies upward through the air to a distant target. The sun is shining and the sky is cloudless. The arrow indicates that you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. It does not specify which one, however. There are many different aspects to somebody's life. You will have to decide exactly what aspect they're talking about. I'll go ahead and say it's it's whatever you're doing to make your money. It's the cha-ching. That's what it is. Something that you're doing is right. It's right. Now, whew. Caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. Change is coming. We should have gotten this one in the very beginning, right? Because it's obvious things are changing. It's obvious that things are getting better. And they're going to get a lot better, apparently. Caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. A caterpillar is eating on a young, green, leafy plant. It will spend its days eating and resting, preparing for the day when it becomes a beautiful butterfly. And this symbol indicates that great change will take place in your life. And once it does, things will never be the same. However, the symbol does not indicate whether it is a change for the better or worse. Check connecting cards. Bam! There's our connecting cards. We have everything tied into it being positive. Positive. Next one, the only thing that even kind of looks like it's iffy, but is still not iffy, is called chain. <clears throat> Biddy, don't start. Sorry, the cat. Okay, chain. Chain of events that will affect your life. A chain thick and strong stretches across the world, binding people and events together. This symbol indicates that a chain of events will affect your life, either directly or indirectly. I'm not going to take that as bad because we have all these good cards up here. It's just, and then it ends on rainbow. Oh my, <laughs> woohoo. The most difficult part of a situation is over, Leo. Over. Biddy, Biddy, be quiet. She is going into heat and she's going a little like, it's the beginning stages where she wants to start meowing at everything. So I'm sorry, I'll try to, I will try to get her to stop. Rainbow, the most difficult part of a situation is over. A glorious rainbow stretches from one end of a cloudless sky to the other. This symbol signifies that you have dealt with the most difficult part of a situation. Things will be much easier in the future. Check connecting cards as they re reveal more about this situation. Well, I'll tell you, this situation is great. Absolutely great. Life looks really good for Leo. In fact, I think that's what should be the title of your video today is things look great for Leo. Yes, they do. Things look super, super duper great. And we might have some anxiety. It fell on the floor. We might have anxiety, Leos, about this success, about how it's going to come, when it's going to come, when are your ships coming in type of deal. Don't worry about that. You know, they say, what is that, that quote? If, you're, if you are living in the past, then you'll be depressed. If you're living in the future, then you'll be anxious. So just spend your time living in this moment right now. This moment is really what we're gifted for. That's why it's called the present tense. We are gifted this moment. Okay. Leo, let's see how much better things can get. Past. Woman holding a coin. Present. Strategy. Future. Journey. Woo! Woo! Leo's going on a journey. We are going to clarify with the tarot. Woman holding a coin. That's my, um, that's my Queen of Pentacles card. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person might end up being in your past. It's a feminine energy. 
Doesn't have to be a female, just a feminine energy, as we all have both inside. Okay, let's let's start with her first. Leo. On the bottom, when I split it, I got the Hierophant and Judgment. <clears throat> Which you know is Taurus. Biddy. Biddy. Sorry. Thought she was going to stop for a while so I could do one of these. What is the Queen of Pentacles doing here? Tarot, help us figure that out. For Leo's highest good. Sorry, I'm kind of rough on this little bitty table. I'm very rough on it. Waiting for your ships to come in. Bitty. Oh my gosh. Bitty. 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 <laughs> I think she's going to be quiet. It's so waiting for your ships to come in. That's what the deal is with that Queen of Pentacles. You're waiting, I would think, to be in this position. Although everybody has different timelines, it might actually be talking about an earth sign. To clarify the three of wands, we have Queen of Wands. So we have two queens. This one is Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and it's somebody who knows how to get things done. They know how to do things even though they're behind the scenes. They can keep people inspired. They, they just know how to inspire the whole scene. Now, strategy. Ace of Wands, what have you thought up? Leo, what have you thought up that you're going to do? That is just, this is a portal. This is a gift from the universe coming in where you are going to get to manifest something big. And I'm saying big. Look at this stuff. If there is something that you thought was impossible to do, then rethink it to be possible. And remember that everything impossible, you know, was, was impossible until somebody made it possible. Everything is impossible until then. Let's clarify the Ace of Wands, because that's about a strategy. King of Swords. You might need to have a strategy regarding an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or somebody in authority. You might need a court strategy. You might need a strategy for, I don't know, just in anywhere in the judicial system. This is a very like authoritarian card. It can be a person, a male um, energy that has this type of presence of being really harsh, but diplomatic, just um, kind of using the brain instead of the heart. That's how spirit is wanting you to make a strategy. Use your brain. <clears throat> then we have journey for the near future or future. Hermit, card of Virgo. All about going inside, finding your light, finding out what what lights up your path. What do you know now to be true that you didn't know before? That's going to help you on your journey. And the chariot, I can't clarify it any better than the chariot. This is the journey. This is the vehicle you're going to be in when you take it. This is the seeing Everything for how it is. No more smoke and mirrors. We've got black and white. We've got angels. We've got crowns. We've got stars. We've got a little bit of all the signs in this. But mainly this card is about victory. And about it taking a little ways to get there. But ultimately having your victory. So Leo, I hope you enjoyed this. This was one of, hands down, one of the best, best readings you know, I, like I said, other than Taurus, you and Taurus have great readings. So, you all have a good night or day, whatever it is for you.